place of Dr. Pritam Sama, uh, and we will be talking on the management of post operative discard method. <laughs> Increased intraocular pressure. Uh, if that doesn't work, then we move on to intravitreal triumphant alone. Uh, the crystalline uh, form has a longer uh, lasting effect, and uh, we can give the full dose, which is 4 mg uh, or 2 mg in 0.05 ml. Uh, risks are, remain the same, increased intraocular pressure. Um, so if that doesn't work either or sometimes if the patient is able to afford, then we switch to an uh, implant also, which is a dexamethasone implant. This is six times stronger than the triumphant alone and uh, the, uh, the, result, the possibility of a raised intra intraocular pressure is much less. Also remains in the eye for a much longer time, three to four months with just a single injection. Uh, the complications of all these are raised IOP, floaters, um, uh, pain during injection, sometimes very rarely you could have a chisimbridge, retinal detachments, and there's always the fear of any intraocular procedure of endophthalmitis. Uh, Off-label use of anti vegfs are there. If the patient is not responding to steroids, then we can switch to um, anti, uh, anti vegf agents. The various ones in the market are Ravastin. There's studies showing uh, good, view, uh, good improvement with all these modalities. How does it help? Again, with the vascular permeability, decreasing the vascular permeability, decreasing the leakage. Uh, if there's associated on the OCTs, if there's some VMT, uh, then octoplasmin may be used to, uh, you know, uh, to prevent prevent surgery. But go in. There is there are some results uh, reports showing subthreshold micropulse laser. Uh, saying repetitive short pulses delivered at a subthreshold mode can, um, you know, uh, decrease the edema. Uh, but if the pay, it's a low cost and may be considered as an alternative because it, it's non-damaging, you don't really get much. Uh, um, uh, you know, foveal damage with this. Um, finally, if you see ERMs, epiretinal membranes, which are macular attraction, then as my colleagues previously have discussed, vitrectomy is the only, uh, um, you know, uh, is the only way to go with ILM peeling. This also improves the oxygenation to the retina and can uh, uh, decrease the edema and refractory CMEs. So mostly the self-limiting spontaneously resolves but um, and the medical treatment can help it uh, resolve faster. Chronic damage can lead to retinal thinning and fibrosis. So uh, OCT is an excellent tool to diagnose these and uh, the earlier we intervene, the better in some of these patients to prevent the chronic uh, retinal atrophy. Thank you so much. <laughs>